Hello everyone, I am Ms. Joe. Welcome to And welcome back to J World, everybody. We are just outside the Skylands, and you should recognize, I really hope you recognize, that a whole ton of work has been done on this ravine. Don't don't look at the left side. Only, only look at the right side. <laughs> I have a time lapse of me doing quite a bit of this. I didn't do the full time lapse on it, guys, because come on, it's just the same thing over and over again, right? So I'm going to roll that time lapse in a second, but first, you know what we got to do, guys. We got to kick off the episode with this guy. Hello, I3. Hello, Animus J. Run analysis, please. Running analysis. Analysis complete. Having increased to 15%, the virus continues to spread at an alarming rate. I must once again insist that you shut down all vault activities. The rate of infection will soon reach a level that user Animus J will not be able to prevent further spread. Proper containment protocols must be activated. Um, are you okay, I3? You kind of you kind of stuttered there a little bit. System diagnostics indicate all functions are performing as expected. There are no issues within my software. Okay. Um. Is there anything else? It would seem the virus has taken toll on a small forest not too far away from the Skylands. It has caused extremely rapid decay of the vegetation, although it seems to have exclusively affected the oak species. This is great cause for concern, as it may mean a mutation has occurred in the virus. Oh, yeah. I, oh, yeah. Um, you know, I wouldn't worry about that, that forest thing. It's probably nothing. Probably, it, probably nothing. Um, if, yeah, I wouldn't worry about that. Just ignore that. I'm sure it's nothing. Uh, if there's, it's, if there's nothing else, though, uh, I'll catch you later. Goodbye, Animus J. So, you guys you guys heard that, right? When I3 stuttered that little bit? That was a little bit weird. Um, we're going to get into the time lapse now of me working on the ravine stuff. But while you guys are watching the time lapse, I have these two shulker boxes that are full of, well, they're full of oak leaves. Um, I found them. Yeah, we'll just go with that. I'm gonna be placing down the leaves while you guys are watching the time lapse. Please don't tell I3 about the leaves. Here we are, just placing in the final leaves. I did actually do part of the time lapse with the leaves. I went ahead and decided to throw that in. Um, but then I kind of somehow accidentally deleted <laughs> the time lapse for the leaves. I don't, I honestly am not sure what happened. But in any case, these are the last bit of leaves. And just basically what I've been doing is coming up, 
putting a little bush top up here, extending the leaves a little bit down here, and then we drop down and we scaffold all the way back up essentially and we extend the leaves down in a way that looks presentable 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 meaning you know natural <laughs> i guess you could say so for this one i want to do extend that over there we'll get rid of that oh oh shoot yeah that's been happening quite a bit especially because i hate climbing on the scaffolding with an elytra on, it's a pain, but at the same time, if I didn't have my elytra on, it would take me so much longer to get anything done on this. Okay, so let's bring this down and then we'll bring this down and let's go ahead and do it like so. We'll extend this down pretty far. Okay, no, we're not gonna do that. That down a bit more. And then let's try and hang this one down a bit, extend this so they're not at the same level because for some reason having them at the same level looks unnatural. And there we go. Let's break our scaffolding, give you a fly around so you can see how it looks. It's still not done. <laughs> I know, right? Oh yeah, we've had lots of issues with slimes. You may have even seen in the time-lapse. I can't remember if you could tell in the time-lapse. I had to stop so many times to kill these dumb slimes. There's several slime chunks in this ravine. But if you look at it, guys, this side, it looks pretty awesome. I gotta say, I like it. The gravel texture is mixed in. We have andesite all over the place. It's so subtle, you can hardly tell, like right in there, all right? If we take to the skies, and well, maybe a little bit higher into the skies, and we look at it, guys, it looks pretty good, okay? Now, we still gotta clean up the edges up here. We still got some work to do up there. Some of it I've already done like around here is sort of kind of ish done right but there's a lot of places that still need work and filling in around the edge okay uh, because yeah it's just not great is it spots like this look not the best um and then it's just kind of empty up around the ring and if we look into yeah that's oh that's nasty isn't it it just looks awful <laughs> <laughs> but we will save all of the inner ring for another day. What we're going to move on to now is finishing what we started in the last one, which would be this right here. Our water's edge is still not quite right, is it? So I need to finish filling out the dirt across all of this area, getting it up to the water's edge. And then what we're going to do is make it all look nice. So I've gone around and I've placed in a bunch of really cool looking trees. And I gotta say guys, I'm liking them quite a bit. We got some crazy colors, but you know, we want the Skylands to be pretty colorful. We want it to be vibrant. We want it to be lifelike. I've also gone around and adjusted our torches to be green so that this whole area will still be illuminated. And then what we need to do is we need to go around and we need to place down some foliage. And that's going to be bamboo. That's going to be grass. And after a nice night of sleep, I can demonstrate to you more properly how we're going to do that. Uh, so what I'm doing is I'm going around and placing bamboo at varying heights and then putting string above it so that it won't grow above that point. So the grass, we don't, Obviously we don't need like 10 ferns <laughs> all in one little area and we don't want it to look overgrown, but we do want it to look alive. So what we want is little patches like this that look like they're intentionally placed in order to make it look like it's cultivated, but at the same time, not unkept. One other thing that I did on every other side, and I've just realized that I did not do on this one singular side, I'm gonna have to go get more green carpet in order to do it. Although I suppose we could have done it with leaves, but I made these like topiary looking things, okay? So they're scattered all around and they're meant to look more decorative than tree-like, but they're meant to be like, little trees that are, you know, just kind of chilling there, making the area look nice. 
And there we go. We're nearly completed. We just need to put in a few more very small touches, which would be this right here. And then uh, uh, get rid of that. Those don't belong here. Yellow flowers do not belong here. Dandelions. I don't know if you guys know this. Dandelions are weeds. So you won't find them probably anywhere in something that I build because at least where I come from, they're weeds and they don't look good. So yeah, I get rid of them. No weeds in J World, no weeds in the Skylands. Now, that being done right there, let's take a look at what I've done. I put up some sugar cane all the way around. You can kind of see it in a couple places. I put varying heights of bamboo. Not all of it has grown up yet, but I've got it all over the place. And something I wanted to show you guys regarding the bamboo, if I have some more bone meal. So if you look, if we put down two bamboo, okay, and we give them both a block height, let's see, hold on, I screwed that up a little bit. Okay, hold on, one and two, there we go. So we have this nice, thin, leafy stock, okay? And it is one, two, and three blocks high. Now, if we grow this one up to be kind of big, and then we chop it down, and we leave the bottom one, you see how the bottom one is still thicker than this one because it was a mature bamboo? Well, now watch, we can bone meal it again. Now we have the same height, more leafiness, and a thicker stock. So, yeah, that's just something that I noticed that was pretty cool. Uh, at least I thought it was pretty cool. I don't know if you guys think I'm a nerd for that or what, but it's something that I saw that I thought was neat, so I figured I would share with you guys. Let's put string right there and string right there, and that'll stop those dudes from growing any taller. They're going to stay picture perfect just like that for the rest of J World, or at least until you guys download it and break the string and let them grow free. <laughs> And the last thing I wanted to do today is right over here where the yellow trees are. There's only two yellow trees because I realized I didn't have any yellow. Uh, I was going to say carpet, but I guess it's wool, isn't it? So I went up to get some thinking, well, that's silly. Why wouldn't I have yellow leaves for these really cool colors that I'm doing around here? And I didn't even have any yellow sheep in there. And it kind of looks as if a lot of my sheep may have even died up there somehow. I don't know how but it just seems like a lot of them are missing. So I dyed a couple of them yellow. I didn't breed anymore, but yeah, we only have two yellow trees. Anyways, what I wanted to do over here was this. Come here, buddy. Yeah, come on. I know there's more friends over here because this hive is the one. Yep, there's one right there. Okay, there we go, guys. All right, let's get some more of these guys going on. Let's repopulate the bee population a little bit. And look at this cute little guy. I'll give you a flower because you're nice and little and tiny and adorable. I'm going to spend a little bit of time. Can you instantly rebreed? No, but we can give him a ton of flowers and grow him up, I think. Yeah, look at you, buddy. You're so cute. Oh, can we do that? Did that work? It did work. Look at that. Look at us, bee professionals. I'm going to have to put on one of those beekeeper suits. So we got bees going around, guys, getting honey. And uh, we only have two bee nests. We have one there and when we have one here. I don't know if we want to go too crazy on them. Would be cool to have at least one on each quarter, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's, that's going to do it for today, guys. Let's do a little fly around so you guys can get a glimpse of... Um, so you can yeah, fly, thanks. <laughs> All right, there we go. Uh, let's get a look at this from the air. So guys, look at that. Doesn't that look so awesome? Let's come back here. And there we have it, guys. Let me do this. Look at it. Oh man, it looks so good. I love it. It looks fantastic. I'm so glad we did this. So we are going to, in another episode, or probably a lot of me in between episodes, we got to take care of this side, don't we? Yes, yes, yes. Do I have pearls? I do. I do. All right. Let's take a look at this ugly situation. That was way too far of a throw. Um, but as we come back to here, we can see it's an absolute nightmare on the inside. Way worse than what the outside was. And I don't even know how it got that way, but it is. Really? I blame you guys. Yeah, I do. That's right. You you guys that were in the live stream, I blame you guys. 
Out of control TNT, that's what I'm gonna blame it on. Uh, so, in any case, guys, that is gonna be probably the last thing in finishing up the outside of the Skylands, other than adding in more beauty to these small grassy areas that we have, cleaning up the foundations of the statues. And guys, oh man, I had a major epic flex idea. What if we had more statues on the other two sides? Because remember, we weren't really sure what to do. What if they were diamond? What if, what if we did that? What if we had massive diamond statues? Holy smokes. That's more like, I'm out of ideas. We got to mine forever, like literally forever in order to make that happen. So I don't know. We'll put that on the back burner for now, but we're going to call it an episode. If you enjoyed that video, make sure to hit that like button. And if you haven't already, I would love to have you subscribe, guys. That's it for today, though. I'm Animus J, and I'll see you guys next time.